Hi guys, I'm Ponali and welcome to PonaliSkitchen.com. Today we are going to make chocolate pinwheel cookies. It is very easy to make and very crunchy. So let's get started how to make it. I'm using one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Here is my few drops of vanilla essence, pinch of salt, half teaspoon of baking powder, three egg yolks, one cup of powdered sugar, and here is I'm using 100 grams of butter. First, add the softened butter in a bowl, and then add one cup of powdered sugar. And here is my one cup powdered sugar, and then add few drops of vanilla essence in it. Yes, this is perfect. Now just blend it. You can use whisk or hand mixer for the blending. Now add egg yolks one by one. Yes, just blend it for a few seconds. Next add second one egg yolks and again blend it for a few seconds. And here is our last one egg yolks and blend it for a few seconds. Yes, this is looking very perfect and beautiful. Now mix all the dry ingredients together, mix baking powder and salt into the all-purpose flour and mix it with a spoon. Now add half of the flour mixer into the egg batter and beat it well. Yes, this is, looks good. Now add rest of the flour mixer and again beat it well. And this is looking like this. Now, in a flat surface, add some flour and then just place our cookie dough. And then, knead the cookie dough for about 2-3 to two, three minutes. Here is our cookie dough is smooth and perfect. Now, I am going to just divide it into two equal parts. Now, just wrap it with a plastic wrap and just keep it in your refrigerator at least half an hour. After that, you can make your own cookies. Yes, this is done. Now just keep them in your refrigerator at least half an hour. Next, in a bowl, take 2 spoon of unsweetened cocoa powder and then put 1 spoon of hot water and then make a smooth paste. Yes, this is perfect. After one hour of refrigerator, our cookie dough is ready. Now just knead it for a few seconds and make it in half. Yes, this is looks perfect and equal. Now add the chocolate paste into the one portion of cookie dough. Now knead it for a few minutes using a palms. Once the chocolate paste is completely mixed with the cookie dough, then our chocolate cookie dough will be done. Now just roll up the chocolate cookie dough over a first paper so that it will be not sticky. Yes, this is done and looks perfect. Next, roll the white cookie dough. First, knead it for a few seconds and then place it over a first paper and then roll it very gently. And here is our white cookie dough roll ups is done and it looks perfect. Now, gently place the white cookie sheet over the chocolate cookie sheet. Now, remove the first paper. Now, just cut all the side parts and it should be look like rectangle in shape. And here is the last one. Just cut it out. Yes, this is, looks perfect. Now, just roll it up using this first paper. Yes, this is perfect. Now transfer this cookie roll into a plastic grape. Now wrap it very gently. Yes, looks good. Here is our cookie dough is ready and again I am going to keep it in my refrigerator at least half an hour. And then I will show you the next step. After one hour in refrigerator, my cookie dough is hard enough and now I am going to slice it up. 
just slice it up using a knife the thickness is depends on you that is how much thick that you like now just place the cookies into a baking tray looking very good my oven is already preheated in 180 degrees centigrade for about 10 minutes now put it into the oven and let it cook for 10 minutes in 180 degrees centigrade after 10 minutes in the oven my cookies are done now just let them cool into the cooling rack and they will be ready to the serve this spinful cookies are very crunchy now i'm going to taste it it's so crunchy and so yummy i hope you guys love it thank you for watching see you soon in another video bye bye take care